definitely and with a real burden on his heart. He was not praying here. Uh, his praying was not a routine. It was done with, if I'm going to read here, it was done with compassion, mindful of thy tears that I may be filled with joy. Verse, uh, verse 3, please. Verse 3. That without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. Knowing that he would die soon, Paul was what? concerned that Timothy will, will join him in Rome for those last days of fellowship and ministry. And again, this would bring joy to Apostle Paul. You know, if you're going to really study the life of Apostle Paul, Nobody would even uh, say that it was a very simple life. No. It was really, really hard. But you know here his passion. You know, he, if you can see here his desire in doing the word of God cannot be paid with any price, by any price. We must not assume here also that Paul tried to defend his actions before he got converted here. But again, after all, here he was guilty of causing uh, terror among Christians during his, uh, before his conversion. Everybody knows about that. For forcing people to blaspheme by denying Christ and also agreeing to murder Stephen. But again, it was true, uh, true that Paul thought he was serving God. In John 16, verse 2, and he was also in spiritual ignorance in first timothy chapter 1 verse 13 but again it wasn't paul's ignorance that saved him it was the exceeding abundant grace of god it was by the grace of god but again these facts cannot guarantee pure conscience but again paul had known god from his uh, earliest years because he was hebrew of the hebrews well in Philippians chapter 3, verse 5, can we go there, please? Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel and of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law, a Pharisee. But again, his ancestors had given him that uh, tradition of faith but again, but when he met Jesus Christ, Paul realized that his Jewish faith was but preparation for the fulfillment Christ gave him in Christianity. He did not serve God with a pure conscience from his forefathers, as, the king, uh, as we can see here. But again, he heard about the true God from his forefathers. And now he was serving God with a pure conscience. But again, the fact that he had a pure conscience helped give power to his prayers. Not only love, not only uh, prayer, but also confidence. Here in verse 5. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois. Is it is that the correct pronunciation? Lois or Loy? Lois, please correct me. Okay, thank you. And thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Confidence. Paul has confidence in Timothy. Paul did not think that Timothy's tears were evidence of his failure or sincerity. You know, when a person, uh, when a man cries, it doesn't mean that he's weak. Let me tell you that. Amen. Paul was sure that Timothy's faith was genuine and that his faith would see him through in spite of the troubles he was facing. Again, we have to understand that uh, it was the, uh, during the uh, first uh, missionary journey of Apostle Paul when they visited Lystra when uh, they healed the uh, crippled man so the people in that uh, place were uh, amazed 
and surprised thinking that uh, Apostle Paul and uh, Barnabas were uh, one of the gods at Olympus. So people were uh, about to start to offer uh, bulls in front of him. So they refrained doing that. So, you know, the story uh, that happened, people got angry at them and then they were stoned. But again, it's only by the grace of God that he was still alive. When he was stoned at Lystra. You know, God has a purpose in this life. Amen. And the same with you as well. God has a purpose. You know, as we continue here, we have to understand that Timothy's grandmother was the first one in the family who won to Christ. Lois. And then his mother, Eunice, was also converted. But again, Timothy's father, according to, Act, to the book of Acts chapter 16 verse 1, was a Greek. No, it was a Greek. So Eunice had not practiced here the Orthodox, when I say Orthodox, here, following to the tradition beliefs of a religion. Uh, but again here, Timothy's mother and grandmother had seen to it that he was taught the scriptures. That is second, uh, can be found in Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. And so I'm so thankful to the Lord. You know, I'm, uh, I told you before that our family started uh, because of uh, DVBS. Yeah. From the side of my mother and also the side of my father. It started there when they were invited to attend the uh, uh, recognition of the uh, VBS program. And it started there. And by the grace of God, uh, until now, both my uh, families were faithfully serving the Lord. When we were young, uh, before we go to sleep, my mother would always uh, tell us uh, Bible stories. So, everything. I'm so thankful for the Lord for giving us a godly mother. God the Father as well. You know, the same thing as what happened here to Timothy. And this was a great preparation for the hearing of the gospel. So when Paul came to Lystra, so 